ProClimber Australia study is basically the blueprint on how to build more healthy, durable and energy efficient buildings. If we're talking about building more durable buildings, the first thing we have to do is make sure that we keep the rain out of the structure. If you get moisture into the structure, it can start to induce timber rot and corrosion. This can have long-term consequences. We need to design our buildings so that we have a second line of defense. This is a layer that sits behind the cladding and protects the more moisture sensitive materials from moisture damage. These layers behind the cladding we like to refer to as weather resistive barriers. These weather resistive barriers are the second line of defense that prevent that water traveling into the insulated stud systems. If the discussion is about building more durable buildings, we need to make sure that the membranes themselves are durable. This means we need to have membranes that are durable to UV. They can withstand the UV prior to the cladding going over the top. They can handle temperature stresses when they're in operation behind the cladding. There's a few different membrane technologies on the market. The traditional technology is a microporous technology, but ProClima uses a non-microporous technology called thermoplastic elastomer ether ester. This technology is the most durable technology on the market, has outstanding UV exposure characteristics and excellent temperature resistance characteristics. This means it can be used behind even hot, dark metal cladding and still withstand the test of time. Microporous technology is a polyethylene vapor barrier technology that is made vapor permeable by putting tiny little holes in it in the manufacturing process. These holes are so small that liquid water can't push through the membrane under a certain amount of pressure, but water vapor can freely move through those holes. The non-porous technology or monolithic technology that ProClima uses, all the water vapor transport happens through the molecular chains in the TEEE technology. The TEEE technology results in a highly UV stable product and high temperature resistance. These are two characteristics fundamentally important to the Australian market. International experience and international research has shown that when you use caulking on the outside of building, eventually it will fail. The caulking is subject to high temperatures, day and night, diurnal swings, as well as UV exposure. So it's not a matter of if the cork fails or if the cladding leaks water, but it's a matter of when the cladding leaks water, what happens to that water. That's why we need the second line of defense, which is the membranes sitting behind the cladding. Those membranes will then safely drain the water away to the outside of the building through correctly designed drainage openings.